Jackie, I'm going to um, mute you for a second while there's some of that background noise. Is that okay? That's a great idea. <laughs> okay. Welcome, everyone, to the AIN Big Topic. Oh, oh you're right. Yeah. Um, I'm Paul Z. Jackson, and it's my pleasure to introduce today's host for the online game swap, one of a continuing series on exactly that topic. And that's Life Hansen. You may know him as Leif Hansen, but he's Life Hansen, and here he is. Yes. Sometimes when you go through a midlife, you decide to become life. I guess that is what happened. A longer story later there. Thanks for the introduction, Paul, and hello, everybody. Um, we will be recording today. Obviously, if you have a problem with that, then get the hell out of here. Um, but otherwise, um, we'll be sharing the recording on the um, on the Facebook group. So if we come up with any games and opportunities that you want to try out on your own, you can do that. So I am checking in from the Pacific Northwest, a small town in Port Townsend, uh, called Port Townsend, a couple hours from Seattle, hoping that we will do an AIN conference in Seattle some <laughs> sometime. And um, yeah, the way this is going to work is that we will do, um, I'll, I'll start us off with one or two activities just to give an example of online um, AI games that can happen. Um, some, of, some people get confused about the game swap um, in terms of th this is not about swapping just game ideas. This is about actual um, AI games that can be done online. Um, as many of our clients um, are starting to make that request and it's a great way to kind of do introductions for what kind of work can be done online. That was the idea behind this call was to give each other some ideas and to try out also just to try out things, not necessarily knowing whether they'll be successful or not. So if you have an experiment, um, a game that you'd like to try then feel free to suggest it today. Please be thinking of some now because I only have uh, two or three in my, in my little noodle that just woke up 20 minutes ago. <laughs> so, all right, let's begin with the game. And you guys are, um, I guess actually, you don't need to unmute yourself for the first round, but for the second round of it, you will want to unmute yourself. No, I take it back. You're gonna need to say a name. So please go ahead and unmute yourself. And um, we are going to play pass the face. And the way that's gonna work is that I will start off by saying someone's name who I'm going to be passing a face to. And I will make a face to that person. They will then slowly take on that face and pass it on to the rest of the group and demonstrate it to them. They'll say someone's name and pass on a face until we make it all the way around. And welcome, Matt. Hey, life. All right. So for this game, um, Jackie and Matt, you're gonna need to have your video on to pass the face. So um, either that or if you need to opt out, do you need to opt out? Okay, I'm on. There we go. I, I need to opt out, but I'm, I'll watch the rest of you. Okay. Do you need some time to put some clothes on, Jackie? Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. I need to have a, I need to have a better head. I recently had a fall. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry if I hear that. Thanks. Um, and Matt, you might want to turn yours so that the window's not in the background because you're Yeah, I, see, I can kind of see me. Let's see, I'll walk around it. Oh, okay. Are you in a glass house? in a house making tiny glass. Yeah. I, I want to see the view, though. Oh. Yeah, let's, let's, let's see if you can see that because the mountain is out today. Rub it in. Rub it in. <laughs> wow. I know. Isn't that spectacular? I'm kind of near you, Leif. I'm, I'm up on uh, Orcas Island. Are you serious, man? I just left Orcas yesterday. You're kidding me. Oh, no. man. I was, at the, <laughs> I was at the Imagine Festival. Oh, you know what? I don't even know that that was happening. Yeah, so, it, uh, you would have <laughs> loved it, except that it was raining all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how cool. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll talk about that later. OK. All right. And um, let's add a little twist here. 
Sorry, guys. I'm 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 a, I'm a slow start, but I'm 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 good once I'm going. Let's actually not start with that game because it would be nice just to arrive and to do something to introduce yourselves. So let's actually go around, and um, once you pass a face to somebody, and they do the face, then they're also going to say their name and make some sort of sound to describe what their current state is. Okay, so. Here's my face that's going to be passed. Well, I'll just go ahead and introduce my state right now is, as you can tell. Um, <laughs> <whoa>! <laughs> and I'm life. And I'm going to pass my face on to Doug. And Doug, sorry, the twist was that after you right. do your face, then, you'll uh, th say your um, I'm say Doug. Your name and a sound to check in. I'm Doug. The sound would be, uh-huh, 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 <laughs> uh-huh. And I'll pass to Matt. And go ahead and do that face again. You said that was to Matt? Yep. Oh, to me, okay. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Matt and, um, oh, God. <sighs> you know, mostly I'm actually um, doing, I don't even know what to say, but mostly, uh, you know, I'm just moving into the day. It's pretty early here. Um, and, um, Matt, you're going to have to, I'm okay. afraid I'm going to cut you off and Go ahead. Only, let, only let you give a sound to describe all the a sound. Things okay. that we're about to say. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hoob. All right. So, um, let me, um, send this to Erica. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Erica, and I am like that. And I'm going to pass. So I don't pass that face, Leaf Life. I pass. Yep. I make up a totally different face. Okay. So I'm going to pass a face to Paul, and it's like. Wow, we're like twins. <laughs> I'm Paul. It's getting late here, so... <sighs> and I shall pass my face to Lisa. I'm Lisa, and I feel... <laughs> and my face I'm going to pass to David is my name's David and uh, I'm going to pass I think back to Erica <laughs> and I'm gonna pass. Did did everyone get past to him? Please. Um, you know, I was thinking Jackie could actually at least um, give us a sound for how she's doing this morning. If you want to pat? If you want to, let's let's hear a sound. Jackie, you, Jackie. I'm sending you a sound. Let's all repeat that. Let's all repeat that sound. Uh, <laughs> that was an empathy for you. Thank you, Lunch. 
<laughs> I, I even got the swirling head of dizziness from you. <laughs> I like Matt, when you left, you left with this, the, the two bathing. Um, <laughs> perfectly framed. Um, all right, so we're going to do a round two passing. And the round two is that you're going to give um, like a character, your face is going to take on, it doesn't have to be the same old face, it's going to be a face is going to inspire some sort of character and a way that that character would talk, like a personality. And you're going to pass that personality on to somebody else in the group. They're going to say, so you're going to say one or two sentences and they're going to say one or two sentences as that personality. And then again, they're going to turn to somebody, they're going to tell, you know, say, okay, David, I'm going to go, this one's for you. You're going to make up a new face with a personality and a voice that goes with that. Make sense? Enough to see it demonstrated? Great. Okay. All right. This one uh, is going to you, David. today. I'm so, so happy. This is, this is just so exciting to be here and I don't know what, what, I, how long I can keep this up, but it's so exciting. <laughs> so, so to Paul, it's, it's what, what I need from Paul is, is just these very specific things, Paul, if, if you could just do that for me. <laughs> well, of, of course, it's important to be as specific as possible for accuracy and precision and getting the exact point across in the way intended. Wait, did you just pass a, a Paul personality <laughs> to Paul? <laughs> I guess I did. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not really not quite, quite sure what, what's going on. Um, uh, Matt, uh, Matt, I'm really not quite sure what's going on, Matt. But well, well, I don't know why you're asking me then, because I'm the one who knows the least about it. I was thinking that maybe, nah, that's not a good idea. I just, <laughs> uh, I just, I just don't know. Uh. Okay, Doug. <clears throat> I can't stand this. I, I just, I, I just, uh, I, 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 yeah, I, 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 I. <laughs> well, I'm not really I'm not really clear on the point of the game, actually. So I don't really know if what I'm doing is even correct or it's not. And you know, in the greatest scheme of what you call things, uh, this is not a member of that here scheme philosophy. <laughs> and so, Elhurst, what I want to know. <laughs> is a justification of, first of all, should I be calling on you? Second of all, do you even belong in this group? And third, what is your justification for being a member of the species? Yes, yes, yes. And because I, I breathe. I live and breathe as I sit here before you across the pond, <laughs> that lovely little pond that we call the Atlantic. Um, so, yeah, I belong everywhere because I'm everywhere. So, Erica, yo, yo, Erica, I want to know, <laughs> I got to know this. I got to know something about why the sky is so blue. You're, you're muted, Erica. <laughs> At all gestures. Lisa, get it. You got to know. There's things you got to know. You got to know. The basics. You know the basics. Where can you start? Where can you even start? So, mm, who's GK again? Jessica? Jackie. Jackie. Jackie, that's right. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that, Jackie. I knew that. If you had just given me a minute, I would have, you know, it's just like you're always interrupting me. You're always on my case. If you just give me a second, I know what I'm doing here. Okay, Jackie? You know, the thing is, Erica, it's not like you don't know who I am. We have a history together. And so, like, what, what are, you know, what is your problem this morning that you can't remember who I am? Like, is, are you disrespecting me? Oh, that, 
That was almost a little too close to home to an actual conversation I had a couple of weeks ago. I don't know if you guys read my <laughs> Facebook post about that, but somebody just lambasted me for not remembering their name. Good job, oh, you guys. Oh. I actually yes. love Erica. It's okay. And I forget everybody's name. So, yeah. Yep. So um, one other thing that we'll do is, is a little debrief after, you know, just sort of how, how was that? Could you see yourself doing that? What was the value of that? So um, let's, let's kind of combine those last two ones. Anyone want to comment on, uh, you like it, you're not, could you see yourself doing it? Whatever you want to say. Um, I was uh, somewhat confused. It was an interesting game. I wasn't sure we played the game you had instructed us to play. We Although did. this was also a fun game. <laughs> I thought your instruction was to pass a face that would generate a personality. We passed an entire personality. Mm. Yeah, it, it was to pass an entire personality. Um, uh, people didn't emphasize as much the face part of it. But I mean, I saw some people getting into the voices, you know. But, um, okay. but yeah, no, it was to pass a whole personality. And, and so people, uh, the second part was. Um, and uh, and I and I really liked that part. I, I felt that the um, the face part was interesting, but it loses some of the um, enjoyment of past the face when you're in a circle, when you're actually looking away from the group, and then you turn towards them. You can't quite do that here. So, um, and also for participants like yourself that are just audio, it's not quite as uh, easy to enter in. But I did like the sort of pass a whole personality myself and and i found that enjoyable how about you paul i i felt it did mutate in an interesting way through the way that we happen to interpret it from how it might be done live in a room to how it can be done online and maybe you need a bit bigger a bit more signaling because there's a, a lot of subtlety in the digital world compared to the face-to-face -face in the room world and that we adapted to that. So we gave a face and movement and a couple of lines, sometimes even a question. And that that's quite nice on the content level. And I found it fun and enjoyable. And I'm interested also in the, what problem does it solve if it's an activity? Mm. And there's something about turn taking. We're indicating whose turn it is next, which is a big issue for me online is whose turn is it? So those are the two dimensions that stood out for me that we adapted it to be more of a digital version of a familiar game and that it's, it might be solving some problems in some way and perhaps turn taking is one of those. Yes. Uh, um, I think that it was, it, what struck me was it was immensely satisfying to have my sound repeated back that felt very like, because I was just going out into the ether, right? I can't see. So it's a slightly different game, but just to have the sounds overlap could be a really, you know, just a really connecting type thing. Like I send a sound to Jackie and then make that sound and she actually overlaps it like a normal like sound ball type thing. That was striking to me. Because so often when we're on a conference call, it's like, oh my God, it's just a nightmare, right? When you can't see people. And so yeah. that was cool. And then for the pass the face thing, I actually wanted us to pass the face of how we were feeling. Because then it's a real empathy check-in. Like if I'm like, ah, then at least then I could pass that to someone. And they, for a second, they recreate like, okay, I got it. This is what Erica's like. Yes, good point. Um, I like that. And I think, come to think of it, I think I actually did have us repeat it um, the last time we did this, like we did for Jackie. And that's, because that is one of the most, that's one of the most satisfying part of making that sound and having everyone else do it. Or just even just me to Jackie. Like just when I went like, boop, 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 and then to hear her sound like coming through. Like if she, you know, she could just start making as soon as she, if I say Jackie and I'm like, Woo, and then I start hearing, Woo, it's just so like, that felt yeah. good. Um, it, Will you do us a favor, Erica, and give us a sound uh, for how you might be feeling now? I'm curious how it does sound as a whole group echoing it back, if it's too chaotic. Okay. We uh, did do but, that. Yeah. How am I feeling now? Everybody. Uh, 
I think, you know, I'd, I have to stop making the noise to hear yeah. you guys. Um, I think I really like just the one-to-one, -one, like if I imagine the world, the globe, and there's like my little sound like going around half of the globe, and then it like gets caught, and then it webs, and it webs, and it webs. Like I kind of, I feel like what we just did is what conference calls feel like. Like me talking, like, you know, a big mess, right? I mean, your voices were beautiful, but <laughs> I, I'm just saying that I really, that precision of like, we are connected felt good great me. I, I just had this picture of a sound like somehow you start a sound uh somehow indicating maybe like showing a name or something because we can't point i i take on the sound pass it to someone else like to actually see a sound go from one person to the next to the next <laughs> and go travel all yeah. around would be very cool. Maybe you can do that, right? You combine emotion. So I, if, if you have the video, I could be like, you know, hey, David, whoosh, and then David would be like, and that's satisfying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. I think um, what was that, David? Sorry. Oh, no, I was going to say, to the point of, you know, the physical passing and all that, um, to, to what Erica was saying and what Paul was saying about turn-taking, something that I think is a problem in my experience with conference calls is I might say something and say, so what did you think, Leap? And, you know, if you weren't listening, you don't know it's your turn or you weren't being cued. And what was very nice about the second round of the exercise is we identified who we were passing to early on so that mm -hmm. person could then turn on their listening and be more... Uh, more in the moment. Um, we tend to come in and out of conference calls, but that idea of assigning your recipient early uh, for a remote type of session, I think is very valuable when you don't have eye contact to stare you across the table and, you know, grab, grab their attention. Great, great. Really good point. What about a fixed order at the beginning? Yes, that is um, what we did that uh, on the first round of these. And I think I think if, I guess if you write it down, that would work. But if you got beyond four or five people, it's hard to remember that order. Or as long as you remember who you're receiving from and giving to, that's a good way to do it. Um, let's tr whatever next game we do, let's try that. And anyone who wants to write it down can. I will write, write down that order. We could Otherwise, post it in the chat. Yes. The facilitator writes down the order in the chat, and then we just look at it. Brilliant. Uh, as long as you know who you're receiving from and who you're passing to. Yeah. Right. Just like any other game. Yeah. What I, what I thought was fascinating about this game is like you gave the instructions, there's that confusion, and we're like, oh, are we doing it right? And then there was like this moment, this threshold of we all settled into it and it's like, oh, okay, this is what it's this is what we're creating it to be. And I and I love that because I noticed that with groups lately that I'm facilitating is that there's a I know I'm very clear on what I'm saying as far as the instruction, but it's what they're hearing and what they're perceiving. And there's that, ah, and, and it, it was funny just to see that amongst everybody, you know, who we're, we're kind of used to doing this stuff and um, not that we're, you know, I don't want to say it, sound arrogant, but you know what I mean? And, uh, and then it's just like that settling in of like, this is what it's going to be and acceptance. And, and then that's where I really started having a lot more fun. Yes. Yeah. Love it. Well, let's, let's, um, let's go ahead and do if I have a, you know, a few other grab bags, but I'm, I'd like to open up to somebody else suggesting an activity to try. I also just created a little random order list there. You guys can see in the chat. If you don't know how to open the chat, you want to click the little chat icon. Uh, it says Doug, David, Lisa, Erica, Life, Paul, Jackie, Matt. Um, and so, um, does somebody have another one to try? You know, I have one, but um, I actually think um, setting an order for this one um, puts undue pressure on, on people. Uh, I've never played this where there's a sequence, so maybe this is not a good game to do right now. I've just done it where people spontaneously um, grab the space when they, when they feel inspired. 
Oh, we don't have to do the order. The order is just for when, when we do need an order, we'll use oh. that order. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, okay. So this one is called um, No, No, No. And um, you start by misdefining a word. So, for example, I would say um, a prune is this um, thing on a string that um, little kids like to carry around. And then someone else goes, no, 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 no. You mean a balloon. And they would say, and then they would miss define the balloon. They would say a balloon is um, this thing that I eat my soup with. And someone would say, no, 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 no. You're thinking of a spoon. A spoon is um, like the, the thing behind the lyrics in a, in a, in a song. And somebody, no, 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 you don't mean a spoon, you mean a tune. A tune, so it just goes on like that, um, where you <laughs> um, continue. It's, it's a rhyming, yeah, it's a rhyming game. And uh -oh. the trick is to misdefine the word that you want people to think of. Awesome. Let's do it. Okay. Start us off. All right. Um, Okay. Um, you know, l let's start off actually by talking about a, a, um, a tree. A tree is this little kind of bug that, 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 that um, jumps around on my dog and I, I, I uh, sometimes I'm afraid it's going to jump on me as uh, well. No, 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 no. You're, I think you're talking about a flea. No, first you have to say that's not a tree. That's not a tree. That's, right. That's, so right. that's not a tree. Yeah. That is a flea. Oh, a flea. Okay. What is a flea yeah. exactly? A flea is one of those things that flies through the air and makes honey. And okay, if you piss it off, it stings you. <laughs> no, 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 no. 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 That's, that's not a flea. That, that's a bee. And yeah. a bee is this big thing of water that people go swimming in. And <laughs> it's how we get, you know, goods and services across the world. And it's this wonderful thing. It covers most of the planet. That's what you're thinking of. No, 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 no. That, that's a C. That's, sorry, that's not a flea. That's a C. <laughs> and what is a C, Doug? Well, to, well, to be more specific, a C is a kind of uh, clarified butter used in Indian cooking. <laughs> That's not a C. It's not? That's ghee. Oh. Yeah. What's ghee? Ghee is this combination physical and online game where you could like golf, but you're looking at a screen. It's not really. No, 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 no Jack. No, 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 not exactly. That's not a, that's not, that's not ghee. Ghee is, uh, is when you, have to wait, um, wait, wait. <laughs> but you have to tell her what it is it's that, not that's not gay what is it what is it i'm trying to figure that out oh. <laughs> does anyone know this game it's we yes yeah, that's what i was about to say <laughs> go ahead <laughs> i think we thought what's lisa we? that you did what's we define we, we. Oh, great. We. Okay, so what we is, is when you, when you go to, um, I can't think of anything. Um, see, I was good until the rhyming, and that got me. <laughs> you want to go? Um, on woo! Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, a we is, uh, a, a we is actually, uh, what you, oh, this is fine. A wee is actually what you do when you're in the bathroom and <laughs> you're not going poo, but you're no, 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 having no, no. liquid come that, out of you. That's not a wee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it that's is. A wee. That is wee. It is in some places. <laughs> what a wee is, is a, a feeling of great joy and pleasure and uh, expression of excitement that you might feel when you're playing with No, 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 that, that's not me, that's, that's glee. And glee is this light brown liquid made from, you know, putting 
leaves, old leaves in hot water and just letting it sit for a while. And after no, 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 no. So that's not glee. That's tea. That's tea. <laughs> More specifically, tea is a feeling of just kind of being blasé where you can't get motivated to do anything and you're just kind of staring at Facebook and you don't care about anything at all. No, 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 Doug. Th that's ennui that you're thinking about. <laughs> Ennui is this kind of um, game board where you put your hands on it and a thing moves around and you got to talk with the dead. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That, that's, that's not, that's not T. That's Ouija. It's a Ouija, Ouija yes, board. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. A Ouija board. A Ouija is uh, a part of the body that helps your lower part of your leg move back and forth when you're walking. Mm -hmm. uh, and it kind of Ouija's around and helps you to run. No, 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 that, that's not Ouija, that's knee, knee. A knee is the collective pronoun for uh, a group of people who are speaking or doing something together. No, no, that, that, that's not me. That, that's a committee. And, and a committee <laughs> is what people do. It's what we're doing with each other, our, our ability to, you know, visualize one another on the screen. And, and it happens with our eyes. That's, that's what you're thinking of there. It, it, it's one of, the, one of the five senses that, that, that allows <laughs> oh, us. Oh, no, 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 that's not it. You're thinking of say. Um, say is the proper pronunciation of the last letter of the alphabet that some people pronounce Z. All right. That's not C, that's Z. That's Z. I think Z is, a, Z is an appropriate letter to end on. <laughs> nice. That was a great one, Matt. Thank you. Um, let's do a little... Uh, a little debrief around that. How was that for folks? Once we got like, the rhythm, it was fun for sure. What's that, Doug? Once we got the rhythm of it, it was fun. Um, it has um, an interesting internal trick, which is you understand the other person's game and you want to jump in. And halfway to jumping in, you realize oh no, I need to have another word to set up the next person. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, ooh, I got it, I got it. Oh, but I don't got the next part. <laughs> right, exactly. The yeah, focus yeah. thing, because you have to remember three words at once. There's the false one, the true one, and then yours. And so I had to keep three words in my head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, almost an advanced version of Sorry I'm Late in that way, and I like the through line of the rhyming uh, for it as well. So that uh, it gives it a nice um, a nice advanced level, I think. It's interesting how the, the cue is no, like it's a yes and game, but the cue is no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but you're really yes anding. Although, I mean, I think you could use this. To me, like I kind of tuned out a little bit after a while because it does sound like, I mean, just, I don't know, sort of like the mansplaining conversation. Oh my you know, God, it's totally fine. Right? <laughs> well, actually, you know, so maybe its utility is like, for how long is this fun? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe people have different reactions to it. I'm not sure. Is there, a, is there a way to actually bring that topic up, do you think, Erica, maybe the mansplaining in an applic applicable way, like a way that sort of is, is funny and then maybe has a follow-up? Well, I wonder if, if this could be like, kind of like when you play yes, but, or no, or whatever, like if we called this game, well, actually, and then we played a yes and type game and talked about the quality of the conversation, right? Mm. So if someone's like, it's a C, oh yes. And it's, you know, some way to be building and then to contrast it. This, Cause this was so like, which is fun for a while. Um, yeah. Couple of technical points. Uh, one is that we seemed to be fine at spontaneous jumping in, 
which is a good sign with eight people. There was there didn't seem to be any clashes. If if two people spoke a bit, somebody would speak and the other one would stop speaking. So the the turn taking is um, self organised in that activity, which is a nice thing for it to have, and that it needs someone to pick it up again when it breaks down, which you did, didn't you, Life? Otherwise it would stop in a um, place where you may not be ready for it to stop or long yeah, after we someone those, was we ready a, for it to stop. You know, I think I saw, we had a couple of those moments which happen all the time in games where uh, the the rule, the perception was the rule may have been forgotten a little bit. I think at one point Lisa had said the we, uh, that's that's not a we, it's a we or something like that. And I think she, if, correct me if I'm if I'm wrong, Lisa, but you actually did know the thing, but you were waiting for yourself to think of the rhyme and people kind of jumped in. And so it's one of those moments where you're like, oh no, am I, you know, like, am I helping or am I actually hindering by stopping the flow? Um, you know, and that's that's just normal, but. Um, yeah, I mean, I like, I like this, but it was just, this is something I would probably play in person. I don't know if I play it online. Quite honestly, I mean, it's uh -huh. just, I think, because uh, I would want to be able to read and, you know, see the group. I don't know. I like it, but it's just, uh, I love the rhyming, but it also, I know it can shut people down. And I want people to feel like an easy catch, an easy way into the, the experience. And so I, I'd pro I like it, but I'd, I'd probably save it for an in person activity, is my preference. When you say shut them down, you mean that um, just or just check out complexity. people check out because yeah. of the like you'd want something simpler so that that rules aren't getting in the way and people feeling shut down or especially on a Zoom call, yeah, I would I want to make it because I would want I want to make this as easy access as possible. Um, it's, it's what I'm noticing um, gotcha. in my experience. So thank you for that. Great game, but I think I I would use it in person. Okay. David, what was the game that you mentioned about Sorry I'm Late? Um, yeah, so Sorry I'm Late, uh, it's a warm-up game I've done with my uh, uh, indie team before. So standing in a circle, one person steps in the middle, and they say, Sorry I'm Late, uh, but, and then the but is they start to tell the story of a TV show, movie, or book that is fairly popular. So Sorry I'm Late, but I was stuck under in my bedroom under the steps. My aunt and uh, uncle that had been taking care of me since my parents died. Uh, in, 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 in a big battle, uh, you know, I have this scarf from that battle and someone will shout out Harry Potter. That person then uh, takes focus and says, sorry, I'm late, but, and continues on with a different uh, story from a piece of fairly popular um, mm. uh, fiction or uh, nonfiction so that someone can guess it. Mm. Got it. Would people like to do that? Yeah. David, would you like to um, facilitate it? I, I might need another quick um, a, another quick explanation. Um, sure. Or, so, or, or you could just pass it on to somebody and, and we'll figure it out too. Yeah, so um, I'll just start by describing why I was late. And when anyone understands what uh, I'm referencing, what movie or TV show or book, just shout out the title. And then it'll be your turn to explain why you were late by describing your own uh, fiction, nonfiction book, movie that uh, you want to tell us the story of. Got it. So I'm sorry I was late. I ran into this hermit that lives out in the desert and I was looking for my lost robots and by the time I got- Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, I, actually I am sorry I'm late. Uh, I was visiting my dad in the hospital. Uh, some people were gonna actually try to kill him and uh, I, I didn't want to be the one to stop them from killing him. I got an older brother who, well, uh, the middle child's worthless, but the older brother is really going to follow in his footsteps. And uh, though he got all shot, so it was just kind of me at the hospital defending my dad and the police were corrupt, and they weren't going to stop him. Uh, the older brother got shot, the younger was, what? Godfather. Godfather. Yeah. Go ahead, Matt. Um, <coughs> you know, sorry I'm late. Um, my uh, um, my my dad's oops, my other dad's in the hospital, and um, 
um, me and my siblings have been trying to figure out who's going to take over the company. And um, um, oh, we were just out at, um, at Davos. And I guess nobody is watching this show. Okay, let me go to a different one. Um, um, oh, you know, sorry I'm late, but uh, like one out of every three people around me just uh, disappeared and kind of went into a, like a, um, like into nothingness and- um, Left behind? This, say it again? Left behind? Uh, no, that's not what I was thinking of. Um, <laughs> I have to get something, but this is like, Okay, I, may, I, I know Handmaid's someone. Tale. Someone must know this thing. What? Handmaid's Tale. <gasps> nope. I don't think so. <laughs> the Stalinist oh, Revolution. Um, start. <laughs> Communist Manifesto. <laughs> uh, this is only like, the, although although I did not last all the way through this movie. This is the most popular movie <laughs> in history. We that know I'm describing what? here exactly. <laughs> What was it? <laughs> All right. So, um, you know, um, I think Thor got fat and... Oh, um, uh, <laughs> Endgame. Yes, exactly. Uh, well, see, so now I don't want to dominate it again. It'll take right. a second. You can pass it on to someone, Doug. Okay. Uh, I'll pass to Jackie. Sorry I'm late, but... <laughs> I had to dress in my family curtains because <laughs> my plantation has just been ruined. Gone with I the wind? Am, pardon? Gone with the wind? Yes. <laughs> oh, very fun. Um, okay, um, Erica, you got one? Uh, sure. Uh, Sorry I'm late, but um, I got really mad and part of my emotions just got lost and like all I've got now is like I'm angry and disgusted and uh, I don't know where joy is anymore, but I've got to figure it out because I'm moving to a new school and um, my whole family's moving, and we had to figure out how to have a good attitude. Inside I out. Mean, <laughs> Inside what? Out. Was Inside out. Inside oh. out. Don't know it. Oh, you should all watch it. It's a Pixar movie. It's a Pixar cartoon. It's about oh, your emotions. yes, I did. Yes, I did. Oh, this, movie. this is like oh. a facilitation movie. Inside out. Inside out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Who hasn't gone? Sorry, I'm late. I was uh, walking back to my um, my hole, and this friggin' wizard comes by and invites one of the Lord hobbit of the movies. Rings. <laughs> the hobbit. <laughs> yes. uh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm late. I've been tied to a bed by one of the fans of my novels. Oh, misery. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Did everyone Lisa, do you want to try? What? You want to turn? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry I'm late. I um, I was riding my bike and weather really got bad. And then, I don't know, all of a sudden I was hanging out with some people, three people. Was it a buzz? Was it a buzz? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So quick, so quick. Um, all right, what did people think about that one? The oh, it's a was challenge difficult. for people who aren't up on popular culture or who watch different movies. Yeah. It's, it's a, a party game, isn't it? Oh, what? There's a lot of overlap, overlapping circles between party games and improvisation activities. It's in that <laughs> Venn diagram spot. And, and I'm curious because uh, for both this one, the comment Jackie made, but also the previous uh, exercise with the, the rhyming, uh, I work in a, um, a, an international company, um, folks, you know, uh, in Belarus and uh, West Europe, uh, all across North America. How do folks 
uh, um, approach some of the cultural challenges, either of language or idioms or pop culture? I mean, there's culture, there's um, just age demographics, anything that might separate us from, you know, what we've seen compared to what other people in our environments have seen. How do, how do folks approach that? Good question. I think, I mean, I think it's a good question because this game, like I kind of checked out again a little bit, right? Because this is about getting it right. This is about, are we same? Whereas what we offer in improv is like, let's co-create something that's never existed. So what's the different energy between this and like playing word at a time and building a story together that doesn't require, where, where all of our diverse backgrounds actually maybe make the story more interesting. So maybe this is like a, this could be serve as a contrast to, this is how we usually go through the world. Like, do you know me? Do you like me? Do you like the same things? Are we aligned on identity and similarity versus are we aligned on our capacity to listen and create together? Hmm. Great. I felt a little awkward because if I, after I took my turn and I was, was the first to get it, I didn't feel like I should say anything. You know, and then if I said something, I, yeah, so it made me feel a little awkward as we played it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it could, the, the suggestion of, you know, having the power to pass it on to somebody else could be said early on as one way to deal with that, you know, if you happen to be someone who's, um, you know, or you could also coach people in the beginning to say, hey, you might actually guess it. But if you've already gone once, maybe hold on to your answer a little bit and wait and see if someone else gets it first. That could be a way with dealing with that too. You could kind of preload it a little bit. Um, if it's all right, I'd really like to try one. Um, one thing I'm interested in is can, how much vulnerability and, and real connection can happen in an online space? You know, one of the problems that we deal with with online is that there is a distance, right? There's, there's, a, there's the flatland two dimensionality. And um, I'm thinking of a game that um, I learned. It kind of got made up. You guys have probably heard of Portkey. It was at a nine-day uh, improv retreat with Matt, uh, Matt Smith and Rebecca Stockley. And um, Matt made up this game. I actually made up the name of the game, uh, Portkey, because um, if you're a Harry Potter fan, you know the idea in Harry Potter is that there are these things called portkeys, and you touch them, say a cup, and then it sort of takes you – teleports you to somewhere else and they're they're called port keys and uh, um the way that this activity oh, works well i apologize now i didn't credit you in the book i said created by matt smith oh cool well it was created by matt smith i just gave it a name okay so it's better to give him the credit and okay. oh what's the book well now i feel embarrassed because i did this yeah. okay <laughs> social nonsense oh awesome yeah oh, right. cool. i'll have to check it out Oh. So, um, before you go on, and Doug's being modest, it's a really good book. Doug, let's, um, let's write that in the notes there. Yeah, put it in the notes. Um, and thank you so much, Paul, for taking the notes. Um, I'm surprised you don't all have a copy to wave. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's, uh, crucial equipment. Yeah. I, I got okay, my so, so, so Matt Smith for sure. Matt Smith yeah. is the name. Okay. Yes, yeah. Does that predate when we went to Yosemite? Because we played it there. Then it does predate it then. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> um, okay. Sorry. So... Sorry to interrupt. Wanted to recommend the book. Well, thank you. <laughs> always, always appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> so the, um, uh, I want to, uh, let's go ahead and Erica, do you want to, before I introduce the game, do you want to say what you're saying there? Yeah, and I have to get off in 10 minutes, so I put that in chat, that I have experienced that the online space is amazing for creating intimacy, especially if you have a really big group and a group of people who don't see each other, you can give them an activity, like even this port key one, but send people into breakout rooms, so there's like two or three people, and then they have this amazing thing where they can be super intimate, because in a moment, they're gone. You know, they don't have to see that person the next day. They don't even have to talk to them again. So um, I just want to break that assumption that online means not intimate. It actually can facilitate this instant intimacy. And then you know, that's what I want to say. 
Definitely. Yeah. No, I, I, and I, I didn't mean to imply that it's impossible. I just mean that many of the times that I am and, you know, totally. stay on a surface level. So yeah, it's the, the questions, the activities, and yes, the breakout rooms, smaller space yeah. is a really great way to create it. Thank you. So the way yeah. Porky is going to work is yeah. that um, I'll start, uh, someone is going to, I'll, I'll demonstrate it by someone's going to give me a random object. The first one is a, is a random object. And that random object is going to take me to some memory in my past. It might be a directly related to that object or it might be associative. And I will, um, I like to actually do this with eyes closed, but you don't have to. You can keep your eyes open or closed. And speaking in first person, I will be at that time and specific place. This isn't something that's made up. This is an actual memory, an actual time, an actual place of which you're describing in first person. So say someone, uh, I'll go ahead and demonstrate the first one. Someone give me an object. You're muted, you're Doug. Muted. A um, leather boot. Oh, leather boot. I am in the wandering wardrobe used clothes store. It's a few days before a steampunk festival in Port Townsend. And I'm really excited about this festival and I'm wanting to look cool. I'm wanting to kind of find these steampunky clothes and I have no clue what to buy and what the steampunk looks like. And I'm wandering around and seeing there's some leather boots. There are some other cool kind of vintage clothes. And uh, I'm feeling a little awkward about fashion and about what to buy. Awkward. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I take a word, it doesn't actually have to be an object, it could be a, any word that I had in my story that could bring up a memory. I then pass the word awkward now to David, who was going to close his eyes. And the, the, the particularly vulnerable part of this, because I've had this bring into like deep tears, it brought me to, is to really encourage people to go with the first memory that comes up. So awkward to you, David. Yeah, so awkward. The first memory that came to mind was my first um, real consulting project. I was only out of undergrad. So, so I'm going to pause you just just a little coaching in the beginning here, David. Start your start your share with I am because okay. you actually are in first person and you're there and you're describing to us that memory. You're inside of that memory. Gotcha. So I am sitting in a a conference room with about 20 people there. Most of them are my clients. We are going around the room introducing ourselves and my colleagues are introducing themselves, having been with the company for five years and 10, 15, 20 years of experience. My, it comes to the main stakeholder in the room and he introduces himself as having been with this company, this one company that I'm supposed to be redesigning the whole system for and the expert on. He's been with this one company 26 years and I'm suddenly sitting there completely fish out of water because I'm realizing that he's been working at this one job longer than I had been breathing air on this planet. And I was completely just out of water, uncomfortable. How am I supposed to be the expert when he's been, you know, doing this thing longer than I've, I've been on this planet. Excellent. So then you'll take one word out of that. Throw it to the next person who will start with I am and they'll share. It doesn't have to be a whole story, by the way. Whoever next goes, it can be just like a slice of memory that's described by your senses. So I'm going to say relief to Erica. Erica, you are on mute. Yep. Yes. Um, relief. All right, relief. Relief takes me, well, first it took me to like that 
commercial, but that's not really like a memory of like a commercial for Rolaids, but I don't have any like, that was like a association. You leave as far as a memory takes me to this image of like dropping this barbell with weights on it, like onto the ground and it kind of bouncing a little bit. And it's on a gym floor with black mats and like those little crisscross pattern. And uh, it's just this steel bar and the noise of the, the weights are kind of smashing against the ground. Um, so let's see, Lisa, I will send you smashing. Mm, smashing. I am recalling a Thanksgiving, my first Thanksgiving meal I had in my house. And um, we were making mashed potatoes and I couldn't find the-, the I, can't, I can't find. Huh? I, uh, I can't find. You uh, see, it's about being in the, you're in the present moment. Okay. Um, I can't find the, the, the potato masher and um and so i had to of course improvise and so i had this other thing that i was using when i was uh teaching art and i had to clean it off <laughs> and um I had to like scrape some paint off of it to uh like really cut up the the mashed potatoes so it was kind of weird and gross and delicious um Doug, I'm going to give you paint. Give who? Doug, I'm paint. I'm in my bedroom. I'm 11 years old. My oldest brother had painted a mural on his wall that was so good. He was hired by Carson Perry Scott to start doing art for them to sell in their stores. And so I wanted to paint a mural in my room. And I was told that I couldn't because I'd ruin the wall because I'm not a good artist like my much older brother. But then I preached fairness. They said, you're gonna lose interest. And I said, I won't. And I started to just do abstract shapes because I don't have any ability to draw something so it looks like it. And uh, eventually I lost interest so I stopped doing it, except that my wall now had this symbol of my failure on it. And the first thing I woke up to every day was this wall with this just couple of blobs of paint and stuff for this project I started and didn't finish. Hmm. And my mom wasn't going to spend the money to repaint the wall because this was my punishment as I had to live with it. And I'm just looking, I'm just kind of looking at this wall and seeing that I can't ever finish what I started. Hmm. I'm going to pause for one second. I'm not trying to be a, a pain in the ass coach here, but I think one of the um, one of the beauties of this game, and it's really tricky, and I see this all the time, is staying um, actually in in the present, in the moment. There, it, it's part of what creates the vulnerability. Yeah, it is tricky, isn't it? Like you go, you you might start in the present and then shift it to storytelling into the past. Yeah. So it's really, um, and that's part of why I personally like closing my eyes because it, it helps me not be like, I'm telling these guys a story, but yep. it's the port key is taking you to an actual slice of time in the past. And so by starting with that, I am, and um, it, it kind of brings you into the moment and you're describing that and it's a little bit more vulnerable. It's interesting. I don't know why, but it is. So just for the last few people, when they go, I want to encourage you to try and play with that. And I'm going to say goodbye. And I put notes in the chat about a, the way that I played port key is a different kind of a pulls a different lever there so have fun it's so nice to see you all you too erica bye Thank you. erica bye. Bye, Jackie. i remember <laughs> you. um are people okay if we do uh two last ones to wrap up time wise mm -hmm. okay. so jackie sure. uh, shapes shapes yep hmm
Um, my apologies, I'm drawing a complete blank. Shapes. I'll give you another one. How about bedroom? Okay, I can do bedroom. <laughs> I can do bedroom. Um, I am walking into my bedroom. I am about seven years old. And I'm really excited because I have asked my dad to paint my room pink. I walk in and oh no, it's blue. <laughs> How is this possible? I was so clear about what I wanted. I cannot begin to explain this travesty or how it happened or why on earth my dad would do this to me. I'm a little girl. I went pink. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. Um, I'm going to pass to Matt or Paul. Um. Um, Matt, um, travesty. Travesty? Yes. <sighs> um, Jackie, nothing's coming for me for travesty. Uh, can you give me another one? Blue. Blue. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm on vacation and um, I'm getting ready for a little hike into town. And I, um, I realize that um, Everything that I have left to wear is blue. And I feel really self-conscious that I'm going to draw a lot of attention to myself that people will think that this like um, completely mismatched outfit is actually my attempt to um, uh, put together an outfit that, um, <laughs> that um, actually looks um, attractive. And um, I'm just um, uh, just mortified to be seen in public in this blue outfit. Um, Paul, uh, how about mortified? Hi, thank you. <laughs> I am mortified as I climb Kribgoch, a ridge on Mount Snowdon in North Wales, which is the toughest climb I have ever done. I'm on my hands and knees thinking that the slightest error will have me plunging to my death. Mm. Whilst along Boy Scouts and Girl Guides are racing past with not a care in the world and that I am mortified at my relative lack of confidence and balance. Thank you, Paul. And I think everybody that's here has had a turn, yes? Da, 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 da. Yeah. Wow. I, 
I really, uh, I'll just say, I really liked that. I think I'm, I'm getting, I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting to the place with applied improv that um, games are fun and silly things are fun, but I'm a little bit tired of them. <laughs> and so when there is an opportunity to actually hear a story and to make a more intimate connection, um, the meaningfulness for me, it just, you know, like, a lot more juice. So I, I really enjoyed hearing these slices of your stories. Um, so thank you. Uh, other thoughts? There's a willingness in an AIN group to jump straight in with any activity or a, a willingness for people to say, no, I'm not going to do that and resist an activity if they wish to, because we know about the choices and the, the nature of what we're doing. Um, this call is recorded. And so those stories are now going to be available to AIM unless you do something to stop that. And if you wanted to, I suggest you do oh, that. Oh no, people will know I wanted a pink bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> we all guessed that anyway, Jack. <laughs> so I think in, um, beyond an AIM call, we have to be really clear about what the call is about and checking for permission or setting up guidelines as to are we going to be going for vulnerability? And if so, is everyone okay with that? Or what's the reason for that? Um, and simply for being silly. You know, what's the context and nature of what we're doing being an important part of, uh, of clearly of live work and online work as well? Yes, that's um, good. I would like to say that this really does create connections. So everybody told a story that I could relate to. You know, like Paul, I've been places where, you know, I was scared and other people weren't scared. And what did that mean? And, you know, so you feel like, oh, now I have things in common with these people that probably I have in common with all of you. But like, I didn't know until I heard it said out loud. Yeah. So it's a, it's a great gift. Uh, to have people tell uh, a heartfelt story. Yeah. Sure. I like it as an activity, <laughs> uh, online and offline. I'm speaking only about contextualizing it. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. And um, I also like the silly games. I don't think it has to be one or the other. Oh, no, I wasn't trying to say that. I'm just yeah. a personal preference these days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So shall we wrap up this call yeah. with anything anyone would each like to say, maybe a sentence or not, and then I'll um, give a, a brief announcement about what's happening next. Okay, great. Doug, would you hold up your book again? Anytime. Social nonsense. Okay, good. I'm going to get it as soon as we hang up, and everyone watching the replay hopefully will uh, have a chance to get it too. Thanks. Available on Amazon. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> Any reflections on today's call? Uh, how about we just actually go around and, and each, per whether it's a reflection on the call or just checking out for yourself, each person say a sentence or two. And Doug, since you just did your book, you want to go ahead and start us off? Uh, I was on the fence as whether I was going to join uh, today, and I'm really glad I did. And uh, right now, I just punched up the list of uh, future Zoom calls and stuff. This, this was fantastic. Mm. Excellent, thanks. I also thought this was um, a great experience. Uh, I did not know we would be discussing virtual games when I saw there was an online game swap. I thought it was a game swap that took place online. And so uh, this is all new to me and fascinating. And I had a great time and learned a lot. So I couldn't be happier. Great, thanks, Jackie. I like the fact that we had some different games. Um, seems like we've had some repetitive ones of, over the last couple calls to kind of deep dive back into them. I like that these were pretty much new new ones or new versions of ones I've known. So that was kind of cool to see how to apply it either online or in person. Great. Thanks, Lisa. 
Yeah, I'm, I really um, enjoyed being with everybody uh, in this space. It's not something that I frequently get a chance to do. Um, and um, I'm, I am glad that we did a lot of different levels of, uh, um, you know, of types of experiences. Um, you want to check out last Paul or should I, uh, okay. So, uh, yes, I really, um, am happy that my, my reminder went off this morning to, cause I've had a very loose schedule this last couple of weeks. And <laughs> so I'm glad that this happened and, uh, really enjoy seeing everybody. I had the very strange experience of going from speaker view, which if you didn't see that note in the chat, I think that last game worked really much better as Doug said um, to have in speaker view. When I went back to presentate uh, to everybody mode, I saw myself and didn't know it was me. And that was kind of scary because I don't wear glasses. <laughs> um, so that was really weird. But yeah, it was great to see everybody. I, there is always that sort of feeling. I'm, I'm a kinesthetic person. So I do like to be connected and, and, and to everybody looking at one person. So the fact that everybody's sort of looking at a screen is still difficult for me. I look forward to that day when somehow we have a, a camera in the middle of the screen or something. I don't know how that's going to work, but in life. Yeah. Up top. Kinesthetic. No kinesthetic. Oh, don't leave me hanging, bro. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Great. So I appreciate everybody showing up though. It's just a, a nice size group. I think when it gets beyond 12 or something, it would be very difficult. So this is a good size group. Thanks everybody. Thank you. That, yeah. that would indeed be a, a fresh challenge, larger groups, which I think is something we should look yeah. at. Tap into some of Matt's wisdom on that perhaps. Um, I got something from all the activities and also enjoyed the range of them. So thank you everyone for contributing to the offering of games and the participation in them. Thanks, Life, very much for hosting, remembering to turn up and yeah. uh, facilitate this for us. There's uh, lots more AIN online webinars coming up, both big topics, game swaps, and 60-minute socials. So look out for announcements of those on the Facebook page, the AIN Facebook page, and they're all listed as they come up on the AIN website as well and they're in the newsletters that are sent out from AIN. So there's various ways in which you get informed of these you can find out. If you've got topics you want to offer to the webinar sequence, then please get in touch with me for that. This one has been recorded. We record the big topics. We don't record the 60-minute socials. Both of those are deliberate choices. So if all works well with the Zoom technology, this will be made available by Amy, the AIN administrator, on our AIN YouTube channel, coming to you soon. So thanks all. Um, I'll right. save the chat and we'll make that available to Amy and um, presumably we can review or dip into that if we need to at some point. Thanks all. Great seeing you. Uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. And don't forget to Thank copy you. those notes, Paul, that you wrote. Um, I've copied the notes. Okay.